Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over how to replicate widgets. So this is quite a simple one as well actually and basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a widget go up on all of the player screens and how to make a widget go up on just one player screen as well and giving you different examples of how to do this. So if I had to hit play, I can show you what we're going to make today. So the first example I'm going to give you is if I just press E, it should put a widget up on screen for all the players. So if I press E, you see here it says you picked up an item on both screens. And if I do that for the client as well as the server, it works both ways. And now this example I'm going to give you is if it just showing the widget on the screen of the player that pressed it. So I'm on the right hand side, I'm on the server. If I press E, it says it on just the server screen. And if I do it on the client as well, it says it on just their screen. So again, I'm going to be showing you how to do it for just one player screen or for every player screen in the level. And I'm doing it by pressing E, but you can also do it by picking up an object. So if I press E on this, it works both ways as well. So this is what I'm going to be setting up today. Again, you can fire this off any way you want and do it in any way. I'm going to be going over all of it today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you're going to want to set up is obviously set up your widget. Now I'm not really going to go over this too much, I've already set up a widget here which simply just has text saying picked up an item and two seconds after it spawns in it's going to get destroyed. That's all I've done, again set this up however you like. And I also have an item BP here which again is another example of putting the widget on screen using a blueprint interface when I interact with it is going to put the widget on screen by using a create widget add viewport. And the destroy actor is to destroy the item as if I picked it up. Again, I do have different videos on Blueprint interfaces as well. That's not what I'm going over today. What we're going to go over is actually putting the widget on screen and replicating it. So to do that, we're going to need to open up our character Blueprint, which for me is, is content, third person BP, Blueprints, third person character. And up here, this is my code for interacting. So this is for my Blueprint interface. So as you can see, if I were to interact with the item, it would do that code, which again, just spawned it in. So that's another example of doing this. But to actually replicate the widget, what we're going to do is right click, add a custom event, naming this add widget on server. And I'm going to change the replication of this to be run on server. Underneath this, I'm going to add another custom event, naming this add widget on client. And I'm going to change this to be multicast. Now multicast is going to do it on all clients. So this example is going to put the widget on all of the players in the game. If you want it to be only on one player which interacts with it, change it from multicast to run on owning client. I'll go over that again later on. So what we're going to do is out of add widget on server, we're going to add widget on client. So the server calls the client and the client actually does the widget. So this is simply going to be create widget with the select class being the widget we want to put on screen, which for me is interaction widget, and the return value is going to be add to viewport, perfectly like so. Now you can change the owning player to be a different player controller for the current player you want it to be on screen for, but this method also works perfectly as well, because again, for me, all of my players share the same player controller. And to find this off, again, I'm gonna just do the E key, but fire it off however you want. For example, if you were to interact with something, so for me, in this example, I'm just gonna do the E key, so I'm going to get the E keyboard event. Out of this, I'm going to call function add widget on server. And the server one is the one you want to call when firing off this code to actually replicate the widget. So again, it's going to add the widget on server, which is gonna add it on the client, which is going to actually add it. And so again, for me, this is just E, but if you want it to be for when interacting like this, what you do is E add widget on server, add servers and on client, and the client here won't go into create widget. This will instead go into this interaction code here. And in this interaction code, you would instead put the widget on screen. So that would be an item BP for me. So here you do the create widget there. So again, this is then going to be replicated perfectly. And this is then specific for the player and that widget and that item. But again, this is the main way of how we're going to be doing it. So we're going to be pressing E or however you want, which is going to do all of this replication. So again, this is multicast or execute on all. So this should do it on all of the players in the current game. So if I press E, you can see it did it on both screens and this is going to work for both client and server. And then if I were to change this from multicast to run on owning client, it should now do it only for the player which pressed the button. So if I press it on the server here, it's only showing up on the server. And if I press it on the client here, it's only showing up on the client. So I think that'll be it for this video. It's redundant everything you want to do. What we've done is we've set up this replication system 
in which we can spawn widgets on screen on either one player or on all of the players in the current level as well. So again, as you can see, this is working perfectly for how we want it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.